All right, so Gimbal. Gimbal is super hard to actually get rid of and it's the bane of every animator's existence. It's something that you cannot actually get away from and it's something that you have to live with. However, there's a few tools and a few things that you can do in order to get it uh, to actually be a little bit more uh, pleasant. Today, I'm going to show you a tool that I swear by when it comes to gimbal. It's a tool that not a lot of people seem to know about it, but everybody that actually has used it or is using it right now swears by it. It's awesome and it saves the day when it comes to gimbal lock. Now, let's get to it and let's get started with this episode. All right, so welcome to another video. Gimbal lock is something that is difficult to deal with, but I think that you guys need to know this tool and all those that know it, comment down below and let me know how much do you love this tool and how much it has saved your animations through the years because uh, it certainly has done that for me many, many times. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Morgan Loomis. Morgan is actually the guy behind these tools. Morgan has been doing plugin scripts for many many years probably since before i started animating or at least at around the same time and this website it was a website that i was on all the time when i was actually starting to animate he has so many scripts that are incredibly useful i think that you guys should definitely come here check it out bookmark it because guarantee as you develop as an animator you're going to have here many tools that are going to be helpful some of them have aged better than others one that has definitely aged really, really well is the convert rotation order, which I'll be showing you guys today. Now here I have the animation, trusty all animation that I used to demo everything. The first animation that I did here in the channel of this guy throwing an ax. Now, um, I think that uh, there's a few controllers here, especially this guy here, that most likely will have some kind of Euler gimbal situation going on. So I'm just going to open here my graph editor and you can see if I actually select my rotates and zoom in on a specific area. Let me just get to this bit here. Uh, most likely you'll see that it looks kind of funky right now, right? So I need to get this thing to actually look slightly better than it is right now. So I am going to shift this guy to the side a little bit get him to look a little bit better let me just make sure that we get yeah um and first and foremost the thing that you do normally is when you see things like this you're like my animation looks horrible so i'm gonna go ahead and go to my curves and go ahead and euler filter so your curves sw switch becomes kind of funky sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad but in this case, kind of did a good job. However, as you can see here, they still crossing. And whenever your curves get to cross in a certain way, in a funky way, nine times out of 10, you normally have some kind of gimbal happening somewhere. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it does. And in this case, it's not really clean. The animation is kind of the same, so that's fine. But I kind of want to make sure that it's as clean as possible so I don't run into trouble later. Now enter, convert rotation order. This is basically a little plugin that gives you tips for the selection that you are animating right now. So in this case, we are animating the axe. So I want to get tips for the selection. Now you see here on the left, you have the rotation orders that basically are available to you. And right now is X, Y, Z. So as you can see here, as soon as I actually click get tips for the selection, you get uh, a message first and foremost and it says that this object is currently uh, not gimbling or gimbling depending on what it is and then you can see here the rotation orders that you have available to you to select them right now uh, it tells you all the time what is your current rotation order which is x y z and then it gives you um, suggestions on other uh, rotation orders that you can use that may give you more gimbal or less gimbal depending on the percentage now if you actually were to change this to something that actually looks a little bit better you might change it to z x y so if you actually go ahead and click that what it will do it actually will run through the timeline of a couple of times to actually make sure that those those rotation orders are changed and you'll see that the animation will look the same but the graph editor is going to actually switch to look a little bit more organized than it was before and now the current order is if, if you get tips for current selection actually is the one that we selected already you had the previous one when it told us that it was not gimbling was also zero gimbled 
but now you can see that things are looking much more organized and not intersecting as much in your graph editor. The animation still looks the same, but is just basically giving you a better uh, place for you to start animating and tweaking your graph editor as you go around your keys. Now, I found that if you have something gimbling, you might have to actually do this a few times as you go down through the process if you have more than one object but this most definitely gives you a better chance to fight gimbal lock than if you were just to actually do it by hand every single key as you are animating so definitely convert rotation order is a plugin uh, that i actually always have on my shelf i feel like even though you don't need it all the time when you do need it comes in super handy so give you flowers to Morgan Loomis because he's been doing a lot of work for us animators and support him because all these scripts are for free. I'll leave a link down below to this link uh, where you can download the ML convert rotation order and many more scripts. If you do, definitely send Morgan a, a message on, on Twitter. Follow him on Twitter. I'll leave his, uh, his handle down as well in the description. But this man has been doing so much for the animation community definitely need some love so if i can actually highlight a little bit more about his awesome work i'm more than happy to do so that's all i had for you guys now if you like more definitely go ahead and join us on discord because we actually have a channel just specifically for plugins and scripts and tools that animators use so come and join us link down below also if you like to support the channel even more and show love then definitely go ahead and uh, check my patreon because that is the best place and the best way for you to support me and my, the work that I do. All the money goes to this channel to make sure that these videos get better and better every single month, right? So make sure you check it out. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. Until then, stay well, stay safe. Peace.